Ten years ago we started on a journey. Almost a quest to find freedom. One year ago we decided to take you with us. To help us all discover what freedom means to us. I've been reflecting back over the last 12 months that we've been doing this vlogging and thinking back to everything that I was before we started this and everything that I wanted to be as a person, everything that I wanted to achieve. From the word go, it were about trying to find a freedom, trying to be at one with nature somehow, trying to relinquish yourself from them chains that you have around you of the roles that you hold in society and labels that you give yourself that you hold so much weight to, being a manager of something and being in charge of something and being somebody's neighbour and all those types of things that we put on ourselves constantly through life and the things that we're just expected to do, the things that we expect life to be. And wondering like now, you're traveling, um, you know, and you're on the road and you kind of travel so much distance, not just in miles, but in the way that you develop as a person as well. And who are you in that process? You kind of lose yourself a little bit sometimes, you know, you, you're lost out on the road sometimes as well as being lost in your head sometimes. It can be really hard relinquishing those things that society tells you that you need and society tells you that by being somebody's manager, by being in charge of something, by reaching the top of your chain in your career, that that's when you've made it, that that's who you are as a person. And you leave all that behind and you leave all those possessions behind and you just take out into the middle of nowhere and the only thing you've got is yourself and the road and your thoughts. You, you really sort of have that self-discovery. Sometimes that's good and sometimes it's really frightening. We've been searching for the answer to a question. And the question is, what is freedom? When have you felt the most free in your life? And what do you think freedom is? As a, as a smaller child, child, you don't have to work, you don't have responsibilities in life. I want to know what freedom means to you. Oh, being able to do what you want, as long as it doesn't hurt others. Do you think anything stops you from doing that? Uh, yeah, there are some really, really ridiculous rules sometimes. That's I think it. there's too many unusual laws and nowhere to turn to. Like what is being free? Doing what you want, like just living the way you want to live, I guess. Yeah, no, that needs a lot more think thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say that financial freedom is definitely a key form of freedom. Yeah. Um, just the ability to do what you want to do and not be constrained by anything. Oh my gosh. Um, to not be controlled by the government, to not be controlled at work, to be able to do what I want, to spend money as I want. Being able to do what you want and then without people judging you. Doing whatever you want to. If you go back in time to when you felt the most free, when was that and why was that, do you think? When I was unemployed, because I didn't have to do anything. Yeah. Just being able to do what you want, really, living life freely. We rush from birth to death, knowing no better. Does anyone stop to take a breath? take the time to write a letter. Through glass we observe the mobile drones, daily passing out parade to reach their thrones, tapping of the heels and starchness of suits, heads down silently, their eyes pierce like mutes. Forward they go, a week or two to dream, reality is acceptance within the silent scream. Striving for the dollar, house and interior, to reach the next promotion, the alternative inferior. The conveyor of life, day in, day out, each one in their heads a dream to scream shout as they breathe their last breath leaving behind what there once was will they reflect and will their life have been simply just because some break away stepping off the conveyor of life they see the world in color and are prepared to pay the price outcast delusioned or simply misjudged are their comments and glances really screams of the begrudged the majority stare through their sepia existence, whilst a few live lives of colour challenging the resistance. These few take their last breath, recalling a life of freedom, as they knew the truth, beyond this life you can't pack your kingdom. So a message from those few, as you take life's centre stage, make it a thriller, romance, comedy and adventure on every page. If it's not this, then what is it? 
Ten years ago, we set out to find out. The weather's uh, taken a bit of a turn for the worse up here. The more we're heading north, the more that the, the snow's coming down, basically. So not quite sure what we're driving into. It kind of makes you feel a little bit like restricted sometimes on the road when the weather changes. You know, when you're on the road in Europe or it's summertime, you kind of know that you've got that open road in front of you. But when you kind of don't know what you're driving into and the snow's kind of coming down and, you know, the fog's creeping in, kind of feel a little bit restricted, I guess. literally gone through about every season possible in the past like two hours haven't we right now all of a sudden we're in the middle of uh, autumn and about two minutes ago we're in the middle of winter we're heading now up to um the galloway forest park um it's a beautiful park up really really nice we've been here before when we come though it's always cloudy like... yeah isn't it we never get the stars we never get the stars here and it's amazing for stars and we're hoping to kind of see the northern lights up here as well tonight, but um, I don't think we're going to be lucky enough for that. No, it's not going to be a clear night. It's, um, it's, a, lot of, it's a lot of cloud in the sky because it's been snowing sort of all the way up here, but you wouldn't know it here, it's completely clear of snow. But it's a beautiful place, is this, to park up. It's one of those, it's a very safe place. We've got a little cafe there as well that you can go to in the morning. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little spot. The trees around here are just absolutely magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Today, is the one year birthday anniversary of Romany Pirates. It's exactly one year since we started blogging and doing YouTube. And we designed our um, little mascot. So we're gonna celebrate his birthday today. Birthday. We're gonna be traveling up the west coast of Scotland over the next couple of weeks. Um, so we'll be taking you through some places um, throughout this episode and just kind of looking back over this last year, why we do what we do. Yeah, just um, a reflection of how it's felt and why we started YouTube in the first place. But thank you to everybody that watches us and subscribes. Um, and, you know, it means so much. We can remember kind of the first sort of one that we put out, can't yeah. we? And hoping one person yeah, would hoping, watch it. hoping that one person would <laughs> watch it. Hoping for one subscriber. And that went on to like 100 subscribers. And now there's 1,616 of you. We do have a cake, but we don't have a candle. So we're going to go with the Joss stick. This is what, this is what van life's all about. Making do. Yay! Hey. Hey. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, I hate winter. I really, really hate being cold. You have to put so many layers on. I've got like war running leggings, thermal tights. <laughs> <laughs> all just so I can wear the clothes I enjoy wearing. I don't think like freedom is something that you find eventually. I think it's something that you live. I don't know if we found it. I don't. I don't know if you ever find it. We have spent the last sort of twelve years since we've met really Looking searching for, for freedom, haven't we? <laughs> you come close to where you think you've got it, but it always seems to be just a little bit out of your reach, doesn't it? You find it along the way as you live in it. I think. myself questioning not really what freedom is but I suppose just knowing what it isn't of when you're in the van you leave all your stuff behind don't you mm. you've got next to nothing but yet that's like when you feel the freest isn't it your mind just kind of goes quiet doesn't it you yeah, just, just kind of like clears all that all the all the busyness of, of your mind and like you know everyday life when you're in the van and you're out traveling it just kind of goes quiet it's a complete peace like you've never known before isn't it there's a simpleness to van life isn't there 
like just the fact that you're sat in the middle of a forest and everything's slowed down and you can look at the sun and appreciate everything that you're seeing. You can hear the water rushing by you and it just sort of makes you appreciate things way more than what you do when you're living sort of a normal day-to-day -day life, doesn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. You haven't got stuff around you, have you? It's, there's no kind of busyness to, yeah. to it. It's very simple, isn't it? And very kind of just, I don't Even know, just... almost meditative. Even just like the basic stuff, like doing your washing, you know, you're doing your washing in a river or, you know, in, in a bucket and, you know, you're kind of, you're appreciative of every little thing in life, aren't you? You don't, you don't have the same access to stuff anymore, so everything becomes much more poignant. But yeah, all the things that bother you at home, that you fall out about and get wound up about when you, you're kind of going to work every day and rushing around constantly, all those little things just don't matter anymore. What yeah. are you doing, by the way? <laughs> Just climbing trees. <laughs> Makes me feel like a kid again, climbing a tree. See, I don't think that anybody has ever said on the deathbed that the wish had worked one more day, do you? No, you don't look back and go, oh, yes, I paid that bill. I'm so glad I went to work on a Wednesday when I'm not feeling well. <laughs> you don't, though, do you? No, I don't think that you, you even like the things that you have, the fast cars and all that sort of stuff, which we've both done. We've both searched for that. Yeah that sort of bigger job and faster car and bigger house we've done all that in the past and but i think when it's your final moments in life i don't think that you're going to sit there and say i'd like to drive my ferrari one more time no they reckon you like see your life flash before you don't you and it's i always think to try and create memories that you're going to look back on and think wow i did that you know yeah these are going to be the moments matters. aren't they where it's looking back at the the time that you've had the things that you've done, the experiences you've had. It's being able to step outside and smell that fresh morning dew for one more time. Being able to look at the sea and watch it lapping up one more time. Being able to wild swim one more time. Spend that one last moment with your family. What you've got to live your life by now. If there's one thing that we've learnt, it's that freedom is in your soul, it's in your heart, and it's a necessary part of living. Moments of solitude where you remember to stop and look up at the wonders of the world that shines all around us. Whether you travel alone or in a couple as we do, there's a feeling of stepping out into the unknown, both physically and mentally. It's a journey of self-discovery, but there's almost a childlike element to it as well, a playfulness that keeps you forever young. <laughs> there's a world out there full of memories that will last you a lifetime. It's not all been plain sailing over this past year. Um, we do absolutely love what we do. We love traveling. We've always loved traveling. We've always had this joint kind of fight and search for what freedom is always. And it pulls us together. It's been a roller coaster really of ups and downs, trying to learn everything like how to edit, questioning why we're even vlogging in the first place. Why? What's? Why do you need to record it? You've suddenly got this filming. You've suddenly got, you know, this time pressure. Um, 
which can at times take the fun out of what you're doing and the spontaneity out of what you're doing. It's like this confusion of kind of like, does, does recording it take away from the actual experience? The thought of having to plan things, the thought of having to think ahead just isn't me at all. And so that can be frustrating, really difficult. It's been quite tough to kind of get my head around all that, I guess. It's been an epic journey, an epic learning journey, really. There's been so much to learn. And it's not always been good, like sometimes, you know, off, off camera, it's been stressful. And we've had this like 10 year plan in the making and it's all kind of come together over these last 12 months. we would got the cottage only a couple of years before that and then we hit COVID in the middle of trying to sort of get the cottage sorted and get it ready so that we could lease that out for Airbnb. Um, you know, the boat, we know nothing about boats. <laughs> we've bought this boat, we know literally nothing about them whatsoever. Um, and that's been really scary. I took a massive, massive risk by leaving my day job to solely focus on this, um, to try and give us a, a better future of getting away from the nine to five, really. Um, and the, the fear that comes with that is sometimes really quite overwhelming. And the amount of money that we've had to kind of invest into that first, to know that ultimately down the line, that's our ticket for living a freer life. That's our ticket for not being trapped in a nine to five. Just at times it's felt really like a gamble and really kind of confusing, you know, to leave everything behind and travel in a van and get kind of away from the system has really kind of had its fears as well, I guess. It's scary, it's scary putting that much money into things. It's scary putting that much commitment into things. This feeling as well of like, Recording your life is, is such a unique experience. You know, it's like, I often think to myself, you know, we're all gonna die one day. And one of the things that I always think that kind of always crosses my mind is that in a hundred years time, nobody's gonna ever know we existed. And that's a fact. And I've always really struggled with that. And so for me, recording this and vlogging it, it's almost like, it's almost like a time capsule. It's almost this feeling of, of being able to surpass that kind of mortality in a way that, that it'll ever be a, it'll forever be a time capsule of our story and sometimes it's a real pressure on your relationship as well because you've got different ideas of what you want something to look like and what you want it to be and even though you've got a similar outlook in life and a similar projection the way of getting there can be slightly different and that can cause arguments and cause you to fall out a bit you know, and that's been, that can be difficult at times. It can be really difficult. Kind of all the reasons that I'm doing this and stepping out and, you know, left kind of the nine to five world to do this, you know, at times has kind of made me and Emma fall out a little bit and argue, which we don't argue a lot, but we've kind of argued at times a little bit um, about that. It's definitely not all been plain sailing. And sometimes I just sit and I, and I just kind of wonder to myself whether, I don't know if Reese really hears what, why I want to do this and really hears where I'm coming from with it. And I guess, I just hope that Emma hears, hears me and, and understands the reasons why sometimes I take these big leaps into the unknown. My view has always been that you get one shot at life and I want to make mine count, I want to write my story. It's not a bad life though, is it? <laughs> we just get in the van. We drive away. And then all the stress just becomes distant memory. I think the answer really is that with every kind of passing mile that we travel and every adventure, every challenge that we face, you learn more about yourself, you become more self-aware, you learn what makes you frustrated, what makes you angry, what makes you sad, what makes you happy, what makes you elated. It's kind of like van life is like life, but intensified beyond your wildest dreams. It just magnifies everything. So really, it's not about reaching a destination. Freedom isn't a destination. Self-discovery isn't a destination, it's a journey. We all want to be part of a story worth recording.